from Ipswich, Forklift's Revenge. Powered by four wheelchair motors, this wedge-shaped robot has a welded steel tube body frame, MDF and steel panels. The forks are made from industrial shelving. Chains at the front here um, are toothed, so as they rotate, the chain moves and picks up an opponent. Um, this is aided by these front forks, which uh, get underneath an opponent. From Derby, suicidal tendencies. Constructed over eight weeks using model train motors, Suicidal Tendencies also runs on tracks. The team say they're a work of art. The weaponry a set of milling cutters at the front. The suicidal Tendencies, it's the first entrance to Robot Wars this year. It's a tracked robot, as you can see, with a revolving disc cutter at the front and two Bosch motors for the power of the main drive. The tracks, we have 120 links um, between the two sides, all individually made. It took over three weeks to do them. The um, weapon revolves about 1,500 RPM. The um, spikes hopefully will dig in and flip the opposition up. We've also got a cover on the top which is made from spring steel, so hopefully it's uh, not very easy to penetrate. Roboteers, stand by. Forklift's Revenge, a family team, John Benton, Bob Benton and Andrew Shorter. And suicidal tendencies with Andrew Jeffrey, Martin Jeffrey, his brother and Charles Binns. Three, two, one. Suicidal tendencies making the first manoeuvre, then dodging back. There, the tooth chain drive on Forklift's Revenge and those two mighty forks as well. Suicidal tendencies having one attack, then thinking twice about committing suicide and turning away. And don't forget, if uh, neither of these robots immobilise at the end, the judges will adjudicate on style, damage control, and aggression. And the tendency is the more aggressive so far. Damage there to the arena floor. Picked up on those two chain drives of Forklift's Revenge, which is being nudged towards the flame pit here and out towards the arena edge. I don't think the flames will cause many problems to the steel tube body frame of Revenge, but certainly Suicidal Tennessee's doing all the work here. Oh, and pushing Forklift up towards the CPZ, the corner patrol zone, and that's a killer lot, one of the house robots. And if you go into one of those CPZs, you're fair game. And this is the mean and moody, menacing Shaquille Lot. Oh, look at that. This is a mere bauble, a toy for Killer Lot. That's rather gruesome. All oh, those weeks worked. And coming to naught, coming to a gruesome end. They won the end. Horrible little hooligans all. And Killer Lot holds and toys and teases. And I'm afraid that's it for Fortless Revenge. Kill a lot. Those done his damage.